Hello everyone. Here are some important tips for you for the better preparation in the subject of auditing because the subject we as we all know now uh, is a uh, very theoretical uh, too much detailed theory you have and it becomes very difficult sometimes to understand the language memorize it and also the most difficult part is to remember it for a longer period of time so retaining is a big challenge when it comes to a subject like auditing but definitely uh, this audio is going to help you because uh, i just help you with some points which will enable you to learn it and also retain it so basically what happens is audit purely is theoretical there is huge uh, content a uh, lot of content is involved and purely purely theory uh, so i do understand it is going to be difficult but the only thing that you understand in audit is that every single paragraph of audit teach you a teaches you a concept every single paragraph so basically whenever you st study any standard whenever you study any topic in that case always you should have uh, your visual memory uh, very strong so you should actually be able to uh, imagine you should be able to uh, frame the situation in your mind and this will definitely help you create uh, the kind of understanding of what you could do as an auditor so basically if you can create that kind of you know uh, thinking or the visualization in your mind then the concept will be retained for a very long period of time and basically the classes that you are going through it gives you a very simple aid for remembering also all of those so first thing have visual memory very strong where you can actually uh, think about the situation understand what the auditor would do second important point is the theory uh, language which is involved so what i would not say that you have to learn it the way it is but yes you need to understand audit has some kind of specific terminology like you have very specific terms that you use in audit and those particular terms have to be used in the right place uh, properly basically in the exam also these proper words have to be used so basically in audit when you have uh, uh, the important uh, theory uh, words like you have material misstatement materiality performance materiality risk of material misstatement assertion so these are all particularly words which are used only in audit so these are the language or this are the words that you actually have to bring into your paper it becomes very important so wherever there is any particular sentence where you know there is any auditing term used see that the learning actually happens in that direction so you have to focus on the keywords i'm not saying you need to by heart anything i'm not going to tell that you have to mug up the sentences because impossible the content is huge it is next to impossible for you to by heart anything and in the exam we don't expect very straight forward questions questions are going to be practical oriented wherein you genuinely have to understand what the auditor is supposed to do in the given situation so in that case you have to uh, actually prepare yourself in such a manner that you become conceptually very strong so you should know in what uh, way the auditor's approach would be what would be the right direction in which he is going to perform the procedures what would be the way in which he'll obtain the evidences in the given case so all of these things have to be actually running through your mind and that can happen whenever you study a concept with the visual thinking about it all right so best way of remembering is to visualize retaining is that uh one is you learn the important uh, keywords and second always understand whenever you do any particular topic a part of the topic you have to write it because when it comes to theory paper orally you can tell even a big answer very easily but then when you actually write you see that your hands will freeze the language actually doesn't come up so i would always recommend especially when you write a, when you learn a standard i would always recommend that at least two questions from every standard you practice immediately in writing orally you can i'm very sure you will be able to but writing is what you practice and this what you practice will help you retain the concepts also for a very long time always remember revision becomes more important retaining the only key to that is going to be revision always it is going to be that you first learn and understand then you have to revise without revision retaining cannot be there so revision is a thing that you need to uh, plan out really well and uh, it is not learning what will actually help you being successful it is the revision that you put in correctly that is going to help you succeed because first time learning is always going to be learning it is not going to give you a retaining capacity to retain something properly you need to revise properly so see that you have proper one or two revisions uh, definitely and only then theoretical papers you can actually attempt well so the uh, tips that i give here if you actually uh, take it in a very broader perspective then first thing is that you have to understand uh, first read the language as it is you need to get into the concept detailed third visualizing becomes very important fourth the language at some points in time uh, some point of time where there is appropriate usage of auditing terms you have to make use of them fifth whenever you complete any particular topic it is very important for you to write it down 
I'm not saying the entire uh, question bank you need to write or maybe uh, everything of the particular topic you need to write. No, you make a proper selection of two or three questions and then actually write it. Okay, and when you write, you'll realize that the difficulty is not in the concept understanding. The difficulty is not in uh, getting the you know the root of the topic, but the problem is in writing. And once you get through the writing thing in the exam, it is going to be very very simple. All right. So these are some important things you require. If you have any specific questions, you could raise it, and then I would specifically tell you what exactly you need to do if there is any specific doubt regarding preparation, or if you don't know a proper approach of how to prepare it, then definitely I'll guide you further. Thank you.